This solar panel electrifies the open market at the Cockfold Cherries Park, which has never been occupied. For more than three years, it has been idle with no business activity taking place. Residents there say they cannot rent the stalls at 400 Namibian dollars per month. And we have no money to rent the market in Cockfold. Even now, there is no renting here. No people is cooking or selling things here. It's very expensive and we have no money in Cockfold. The NDC must come and make the place cheap for us who is not working so we can rent the place and give people work because the place is also dirty. Two people were sweeping here, but they, the money is 600. They leave the job, they go. Like now, the place is very dirty. We want NDC to come and give us a place to, to come and give the right place for us so we can also rent the place. A 53 years old woman, a mother of three children, also told NBC she would rather sell from the street corner for free. At times, she also uses the shaded carport belonging to the Sheikh Dollars Federation. I got this place from the Sheikh Dollars Federation. We do not want to go to another place, NDC, because it is a bit expensive. We cannot pay 400 Namibian dollars when we have a free market where others from the location can also join us. They promise us if the group becomes bigger, they will extend the place. We have a car wash here where we charge 50 Namibian dollars with my children. This elderly 70-year-old pensioner said she has been trying to make ends meet with by selling sweetened ice cube plots at 1 Namibian dollar, including sweets, from the comfort of her house in the informal settlement. She takes care of her 11-year-old grandchild. I am selling this to make a living. I do not even make enough from myself. Galford does not have a life. We are struggling. We are waiting to be given things so we can start empowering businesses at home. The high unemployment rate at the settlement has led some of the young women resorting to prostitution with truck drivers and tourists. Attempts to get comment from the village council officials proved futile as the questions were referred to the ministry responsible for the open market. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Kakfeld.